descriptive types of questions from polynomial class 10. Question number 1 is on screen. If 1 0 of a quadratic polynomial x square plus x minus 2 is 1, find the other 0. So polynomial is x square plus x minus 2. If you compare it with the standard form that is ax square plus bx plus c it is polynomial in x this is also polynomial in x if you compare them so a means 1 b means also 1 and c means minus 2 by comparing but so alpha is given 1 1 0 is alpha and we know the relationship between the zeros and its coefficient that is alpha plus beta is minus b by a alpha is 1 beta is not given b is 1 a is 1 so after that 1 plus beta is minus 1 so beta equals minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 the second 0 will be minus 2 now moving to the next question this a uh, very good question find a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are given and zeros are beta a alpha is 2 and beta is given minus 6 zeros are given separately polynomial quadratic polynomial k x minus first 0 into x minus second 0 into x minus third 0 depends on the number of zeros if three zeros then cubic polynomial two zeros quadratic polynomial one zero that will be a linear polynomial k x minus alpha is given 2 and beta here it is beta actually it is x minus beta so beta is bacho minus 6 and k x minus 2 and x plus 6 there is no denominator so directly k equals 1 if you open this bracket so x square x square plus 6x minus 2x minus 12 so you simplify these are like terms x square plus 4x minus 12 is the required polynomial for the given zeros now the next one this question is what should be added to the given polynomial that is x square plus 7x minus 35 so that 3 is a 0 of the polynomial 0 means the value of x so with the help of remainder theorem of 9 class we will find the 0 so px equals x square plus 7x minus 35 so p3 this is 3 square 7 into 3 minus 35 so it is 9 plus 21 minus 35 it is 30 minus 35 is equals minus 5 the remainder is not 0 if remainder is 0 then 3 will be the 0 the 3 is not 0 so what should be added to make remainder equal to 0 therefore 5 should be added when you add 5 minus 5 plus 5 will be 0 5 should be added then this polynomial will become in this in this polynomial 3 will become the 0 of the polynomial next question but if 1 0 of a quadratic polynomial is negative of other it means alpha equal to alpha and beta equal to minus alpha they are negative of each other polynomial is given it is polynomial in x so denoted by px if polynomial in y then py if you compare with the standard form already i wrote in previous question so a is a coefficient of x square that is one and b is a coefficient of x so minus 4k and c is the constant term minus 25 here we have to find k so we will use relation alpha plus beta is minus b by a alpha is alpha and beta is minus alpha minus 4k by 1 so 0 equal to minus 4k 
सो बच्चो के विल बी जीरो दैट्स द आंसर नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ अल्फा एंड बीटा आर द जीरोज ऑफ अ पॉलिनोम सच दैट अल्फा प्लस बीटा इज माइनस सिक्स एंड अल्फा बीटा इज माइनस फोर देन राइट द पॉलिनोम सो हियर पॉलिनोम इक्वेल्स के एक्स माइनस अल्फा इंटू एक्स माइनस बीटा बट हियर अल्फा एंड बीटा आर नॉट गिवेन सेपरेटली सो यू मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू ब्रैकेट्स देन यू विल गेट के एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस अल्फा प्लस बीटा इंटू एक्स प्लस अल्फा बीटा नाउ सब्सटीट्यूट द गिवेन वैल्यूज सो एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस माइनस सिक्स एक्स माइनस फोर सो हियर देर इज नो डिनोमिनेटर सो के विल बी वन सो दिस इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एक्स माइनस फोर नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ अल्फा एंड वन बाई अल्फा तो जीरो जीरो आर alpha and 1 by alpha so alpha is alpha and beta is 1 by alpha polynomial is 4x square minus 2x plus k minus 4 if you compare it with standard form so a is a coefficient of x square b is coefficient of x and c is the constant term so k exist in c so we will use alpha into beta because k is here with c and alpha into beta is c by a and alpha plus beta is minus b by a so k is not in b and in a it is in c so we will use this alpha is alpha beta is 1 by alpha c is k minus 4 and it is 4 it is cancel So four into one is four equal to k by four. So here, if you do cross multiplication, so four one is a four, and it is equal to k minus four. You take four here, so four plus four equal to k. So eight equal to k. This is the answer. Now next question. that is question number 7 similar to that question one zero of a polynomial is reciprocal of other means alpha and 1 by alpha so this question you should do it is similar to the previous one so please do it now the next one if alpha and beta are the zeros of this then you have to find alpha square beta plus alpha beta square so px equals x square plus x minus one coefficient of x square is one coefficient of x is one and c is the constant term so alpha plus beta minus b by a this is minus one by one it is minus one alpha beta this is c by a c is minus one by one is minus one you have to find this alpha square beta And alpha beta is square. Between these two terms, alpha beta is common, so you will get alpha plus beta. Alpha beta is minus one. Alpha plus beta is also minus one. So answer of the given expression will be one. <coughs> Now next question. <coughs> Find the zeros of this, but so. here middle term is containing radical in this case this is radical so first you have to write the given polynomial quadratic polynomial in standard form descending order of exponent x square x and the constant term and then you multiply these two it is 6 and then write the radical at two places because you want to split the middle term and then find the product of these two that is 3 but the required product is 6 so 3 is multiplied by 2 so this 2 you can keep with the first one or second one no problem so this is 2 root 3 and it is root 3 so 2 root 3 plus root 3 that is 3 root 3 3 root 3 is not available here 
so 2 root 3 minus root 3 is root 3 so here we will write 2 root 3 minus root 3 and then is open this bracket and take common between them and between them suppose you have problem in taking common in first two terms so take common in the last two terms see in last two term here is root 3 here is 2 so 1 will be common and here is x there is no x so root 3 minus 2 root 3 x minus 2 so same thing will come in first bracket so copy this one root 3 x minus 2 now compare first term and first term to first term and second term to second term if you compare then you will find that from second term this you did not copy so that will be the common so therefore root 3 x is common now these two brackets are same so root 3 x minus 2 and root 3 x plus 1 now equate each factor with 0 to get the zeros so root 3 x minus 2 equal to 0 so x equal to 2 by root 3 root 3 x plus 1 equal to 0 so x equals minus 1 by root 3 and second bit is similar to this one so please do it <coughs> now here it is also very simple question quadratic polynomial is given it is a polynomial in y so 2y square plus 7y plus 5 if you compare it with the standard form so a is 2 coefficient of y square b is 7 coefficient of y and c is the constant term you have to find this so find alpha plus beta minus b by a alpha beta is c by a so this is minus 7 by 2 and this is 5 by 2 now come calculate the required value so alpha beta it is minus 7 by 2 and it is 5 by 2 so minus 7 mi plus 5 that is minus 2 by 2 the answer is minus 1 now this question 10th question if the sum of zeros of a quadratic polynomial equal to product so first write quadratic polynomial kx square plus 2x plus 3k and it is a polynomial in x so denoted by px a is coefficient of x square k b is a coefficient of x that is 2 and c is the constant term as per as question it is given alpha plus beta equal to alpha beta so alpha plus beta minus b by a equal to c by a substitute the values minus 2 by k equal to c means 3k by a means k do cross multiplication 3k square equal to minus 2k so 3k square plus 2k equal to 0 so here k is common so 3k plus 2 so if you there are two factors so equating each factor with 0 so you can get k equal to 0 which is rejected reason if you write k equal to 0 in the given polynomial so that will become linear polynomial so that value is rejected 3k plus 2 equal to 0 so from here you will get k 3k equal to minus 2 and k equal to minus 2 by 3 <coughs>